Hello again, finest fencer fams. Welcome back to our firing range where we're testing all the weapon types in EDF 5. Uh, we're going to do the DLC pack 2 uh, weapons for fencer this time. Um, we already covered ranger and I was going to do air raider next like normal, but uh, fencer recently posted a joke on his American online profile page, a comment about he's always the last class to be covered. But I believe he betrayed his heart in that post, so let's do Fencer a solid and cover him next. So, um, let's start off here with, uh, he got quite a few weapons here. Let's start off with the first column. He, uh, got a new Finest Hammer. Uh, it's level 107 here. Um, this thing, as far as I can tell, there's not too much difference from the other Finest Hammer, except it does more damage. Um, it does... Uh, 1026 damage at a 45 meter range for the first charge. For the second charge, it does 2052 damage at 136 meters. And then the last charge does 2565 damage at 136 meters. However, they're both 90% um, damage reduction. They both have 8 magazine. They both have 2 second reload. They both pull you the same distance forward. So, not too much I can tell except just a cool, cool art design and uh, just a little bit more damage. Because the other one does how much? Uh, maxed out. 2048, which mine isn't completely maxed out. So it's it's really not much difference at all. Um, it's Like I said, I tested these out, and as far as I can tell, there's really not much difference. So I'm kind of confused as to what, what the difference is on these, on these hammers, actually. Let me get the exact number real quick on the actual finest hammer maxed out, because... That seems way too close. I actually didn't. This is one of the few ones I didn't actually check ahead of time. So the the uh, level 69 one does maxed out. It does 2112 damage compared to 2565 damage. So I mean, I guess in a way you can look at it as it's hitting multiple enemies because usually you're using this weapon in a crowd. So I guess in that respect, you know, the extra 500 damage does add up, but. Uh, same range, same, same everything else, but let's go ahead and take one of those. And then he has a, uh, a new Quake Harken, or Quake Haken, as well. Now, before you write this thing off, it actually is a little bit different, so which is exciting uh, from my testing. It's, it still has the 70% damage reduction, which is cool, because this time that will help uh, make this weapon a little bit more viable. Let me go ahead and pull up my stats again for the actual damage. Uh, let's see. It does... Uh, well, the first charge, which you hardly ever use, is 453 damage, 45 meter range. The second charge is uh, 2,172 at a 68 meter range. And the third charge is 4,350 damage at a 90 meter range. Now, that's actually decent damage, finally, for a change. And the range is actually higher than the other uh, Quake Haken maxed out. This is maxed out at 67.9 meters, whereas this one... Um, is quite a bit further. 90, 90 meters, did I say? Yeah, 90 meter maxed out. So, but like I said, before you write this thing off, let me show you what it, what it does. All right, and then let's take another column here. He got a new blast hole spear. Um, I like the way it looks, definitely. It's very cool looking. Very cool art design on this weapon. Um, as far as the damage goes, it does 5,915 at a 78 meter range and a 10,000 350 damage at 125 meter range. So, pretty much the range is the same. I was kind of concerned that they were going to bring back the, the 300 meter plus blast hole spear, which I actually personally didn't want because I think it would be way too good and like that would be all you would see online as far as weapon variety. So they kept the range the same, which I think is fine because this weapon is more of like a medium range killing crowds of enemies type weapon because it penetrates their enemies. So I kind of like the range, honestly. Maybe a little bit more on the first the first hit. That'd be my only my only suggestion for change. Maybe make both like this this particular DLC, maybe make both swings the same range. That'd be cool. Because I find myself missing on the first shot a lot, whereas the second shot is fine. So I don't know, I like to increase that stat, but other than that I'm happy with that. And that is you know, compared to the level 78, which is not too much difference in damage. This is 4,500 and the 7,900 damage with the same range, same reload, same speed, same uh, magazine and all that. So just a little bit more damage is all this thing is. So, and plus, like I said, pretty cool looking as well. Um, then let's go on to the next column here. He didn't receive any shields, so that's that's fine, though. I think his shields are fine. Um, he did receive a new Gatling. Now, this Gatling is pretty cool. Um, this thing does 10.2k DPS, so very strong. 
Uh, that's versus the 6.8 K DPS on the other one. Um, it's very close to the Hellflame Revolver damage per second, actually. But of course, this thing doesn't penetrate through targets. But however, it also doesn't have the recoil that Hellflame Revolver does as well. And uh, it's got a 1.5 second spin-up, the same as the other best Gatling, which is 80. So relatively quick spin-up. And uh, it's got a good range, 400 meter range. So um, that's versus the 360 meter range. And it has the same half damage fall off. At max range, it does half damage. So, and a pretty brutal reload as well, 12 seconds. But but it's it's a pretty decent, uh, powerful Gatling, which I think is decent You know, to have at least one of those in our collection. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's go ahead and take one of those. And then for items, um, he received uh, new dashing items and new jumping items. He received a new dashing item that gives you 10 dashes instead of the 6 previously. And also it increases the interval of how quickly you can dash. Um, it goes from 80% to 60%, which, like I said in the past, I'm not 100% sure if that's an, a buff or a, or, a, or a nerf, but I'm pretty sure that's a buff. I'm pretty sure 60% means you can dash quicker in between the two uh, intervals. So let's take one of those, and then his jumping item he received as well, which gives you eight jumps instead of six. And this one, um, this stat, uh, the 200% gives you a 200% vertical boost speed versus the 150% uh, boost speed. So what we'll do is we'll actually take, uh, we'll take this one and test out the jumping and then take it, the older one for the next time out and test the jumping on that one. So let's go ahead, what, what weapons do we have? We have this, this, and then let's take this on appropriate mission. Uh, let's do what mission would be good here. Let's do this mission here. This is pretty, pretty good. So let's start off with the um, finest hammer. Like I said, this thing is just a better finest hammer is all that I can tell. Looks like the same width and all that as well, as far as the charge. It seems like the charge time is the same. It seems like it pulls you to the same distance forward. So not too much difference. However, this Quake Haken, Quake Harken, whatever, um, this is the first charge, which is normal. And then the second charge is also normal. But then when you go to the third charge, instead of going behind you, it goes in front of you. So this thing actually could be decent with... Uh, with two hammers, or with two Quake Hakens even, you could use it as like a, a finest hammer with a wider splash in front of it, which is pretty cool. It's got a 90 meter, 90 meter range, which is pretty long. So I think giving this thing the damage reduction that it has now, and giving it the uh, going forward on all charges, I think this, act, this thing actually can be useful now. And I think I'm gonna try it out more often, because I really like how wide it is. I think it'd be good on like tadpole levels, where you have you know, you could hit a wider range of them as they land in, maybe, or just, I don't know, it's just like it's a good, good stunning uh, weapon as well for a bunch of crowds of enemies, so, I don't know, pretty cool. So I'm definitely happy with that, I, I hope they keep with that trend. Either that, or, I don't mind the Quake Haken, Harken, whatever, shooting behind you, I just don't like how it's such a long stun animation from when you do actually swing it, so maybe make it a longer range behind you and quicker, but I think that would be a little bit too broke. I don't know, honestly. What the, I think this is the best way to fix it, actually, what they did, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and reset it for the other weapons here. Now, his other weapons, here's the Blastle Spear. Mine's not completely maxed out, so it's a little bit slower than the 78, but when it's maxed out, it's, it's supposed to be the same speed, so that's good. Definitely want a fast Blastle Spear, and the same range, so... I mean, it's got a lot of damage. That's 15,000 damage with both shots, so can make a difference. And then here's the the guy the Gatling here. So mine isn't isn't maxed out, but you can't it charges up in 1.5 seconds, so that's pretty good. And it 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 still had that swaying thing, you know, that you, that you always have with the Gatlings, which I don't really care for, but it's not something you can't get used to. So as far as damage per second, I mean this is probably the best machine gun that he has now. Like before I would say you know, I would have took that, um, well, I'll show it back at the main screen, but this is actually a decent long-range machine gun weapon for him, and I think I might actually uh, find myself taking this more often, honestly, because of the damage per second. Because even at max range, you're getting, you know, 5,000 damage a second, which is pretty good. Let me go back here a second to the main screen. Because previously, what I would take for my 
my hopping weapon if I wanted a machine gun would be let's take a look here because there's a shotgun of course but that's more of a lot more of a closer range um, you could your options were pretty much you had the uh, this long range one which is pretty low damage and it doesn't penetrate the targets unfortunately anymore um, you also had the option of this one which was pretty good for its level um, it does I think over 5,000 damage per second but the reload time is a little bit long otherwise this is probably the best one in the game but I think with this, with this change to this, I think this is probably going to be your best bet for uh, medium range fighting. So I'm or medium to long range fighting. I'm pretty happy with it. So that's pretty cool. So we got a Gatling. I think I'm actually finally use the Gatling in missions. All right, let's go on to the next column here. All right, we are on. This is a very cool weapon here. This <laughs> he received a new mortar. Now this thing is very interesting in that it do, it's like. It's 21,727.9 damage, as you can see there on the top stat. But the thing is, it has a 60.4 blast meter, blast, uh, blast meter, and but the the thing, the negative thing is, it has a 60 second reload. However, um, this thing is is cool in the fact that obviously it's like one huge like bomb. It's almost like one big mortar strike. But you know you can always dash hop around and then jump in the air and shoot down you know with this thing and doing 21,000 damage is a lot in the, that that large of a blast. So obviously it's a little bit dangerous to yourself, but I think there are some uses to it and it's definitely fun. I mean if you want to look at just sheer DPS, you're gonna get let me see what I had here 363 damage per second <laughs> if you can, if you consider the reload time. However. I think we can find some uses for this baby, and I think I'm going to be definitely having fun with this baby, especially underground as well. I mean, obviously, I don't know if I'll take that online, because I think people might uh, give me the cold shoulder taking it underground, but let's go ahead and take this out just for fun, and uh, we'll test that jumping and hopping thing in, a, in, a, in the next... I'm going to do it separately, actually. So let's take this on a mission first really quick, because this is going to be fun. What would be a good one to take initially? Here, this would be a good one, I think. So I'm kind of confused about the reload time, but I mean, I could see 30 seconds being safe. I mean, I don't know, but kind of weird that it's 60 seconds, but it's definitely cool. So you can switch to it and then shoot it. It's like a it's like a slow shot, unfortunately. But when it hits, look at, look at, look at that thing! It's like an air raid. It's so crazy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the it's not the most practical, but oh my goodness, it's fun. Look at that, look at that blast. <laughs> Let's restart one more time and do that just because it's fun. Now that I think about it, underground could be a little dangerous. Could be a little unpractical, but you know what? Sometimes unpractical is fun. Oh my goodness, I almost ate that with this guy because it's it's super hard to not hit yourself like you would th you would think it's you would think it's it's, it's not too bad to figure out what am I doing <laughs> that it's not too bad to figure out how close it is but like even with the the big c70 bombs I find myself judging the distance a little bit wrong thinking you know I'm safe in this blast but no I am not safe in this blast and the only, like I said the only negative of this is it has the zoom so you can't jump with it I wish you could jump with it that'd be kind of cool um, but the negative is you have to reload this baby in the background and sit there and not do anything. I mean, you can always, as you're fighting, as you're going through the air, you're going to switch to it a few seconds, you know, while you're while you're reloading and then while you're fighting. But, you know, it's something you're going to have to actually save up to get the nice pleasure of the boom. But, but man, that is that is super cool weapon. I'm, I, I definitely like it. I'm glad, with they, I'm glad they did that. Let me do one more shot just because it's fun. I even missed and it hit everything. <laughs> okay. okay. Enough for that for now. Okay, now, the next thing he received is a new arm hound, which is kind of interesting. The first time I saw it, I wasn't sure what to think about it, but after I tried it out, let's take both, one of each, to show the differences. Level 80 is the previous one. Okay, so what this thing does, it does... Uh, where is it at? It does... 8,691 damage if all missiles hit targets, 12 targets, on the new one. 
The old one does 11,588 damage if all 12 hit. So that's, you know, a difference of what? 9, 10, 11. Uh, 3,000. So the old one does 3,000 more damage. The old one also has a larger blast meter. The new one has a 10.2 meter blast. The, the old one has a 13.6 meter blast. So that sounds bad. However, the difference is if you've used the arm hound at all, which is a pretty decent weapon for DPS, it's better DPS than the... Um, the high altitude, if, if, you, if you can deal with the, the lower range, you know, 369 meters, I think it is, versus, you know, the, uh, this obviously has a ridiculous range, um, you know, 800, over 850 meter range. So if you can deal with closer range, um, the negative of the arm hound has always been it's slow and it kind of stuns you while you fire it. However, cause, because it shoots 12, 12 missiles per second out of the, out of the barrel. However, this new one shoots 30 missiles out of the barrel per second. Obviously, you're not shooting 30 missiles because there's only 12, but it shoots. That's the speed. It shoots 30 per second. So you get to you get to um, recover a lot quicker, and therefore you get to um, use it and have more DPS uh, because you're reloading a lot quicker. So let's go ahead and take a dash hop one option as well so we can show it in the air as you're using it in the air. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and take this out somewhere. I guess where this is fine. Okay, let me show the old one first of how fast it fires and how quickly, how how, uh, how much you're stunned to the ground or in the air. Excuse me, or like if you're in the air and you're stunned, you can't start reloading, you can't recover or do anything until that animation is done. So here's the old one. Let's get some twelve. Let's get twelve targets here. Okay. So as you can see, that's how fast it fires. So it's pretty slow, as in, as far as before you get a chance to recover. So it's, it feels like it's about two seconds, actually, even though it says one second, it should be shooting them out. So let's go ahead and restart and then do the new one. And you'll see it's, it's quite a bit faster. And I think it's, just for that reason alone, it's going to be a lot better of a weapon. Because it, look at, it fires so fast and you're back to fighting again. Let me go ahead and make sure I'm getting 12 whole targets here when I do this. Yeah. But yeah, this this thing fires a lot faster, and therefore, I think it's a lot better because of the fact that you can recover quicker, and it's a lot easier to use because of that. Is that twelve, two, four, six, eight? Let me restart, because it, is it, I wonder if there's another glitch in the game where it's not the correct number of lock-ons as it says, like the one did. So that's one, two, three, four, f two, four, six, eight. Okay, there's twelve. Yeah. Okay, don't scare me like that again. <laughs> and then this is the old one. So as you can see, it's quite a bit different. So I think it's going to be a lot better. Let me go ahead and dash hop around with this thing, and then use it in the air because it's a lot more. Cause look at that. I mean, you're you're able to get back to the ground and recover and start dash hopping again. So I'm I'm really thinking this is going to be a great missile launcher for him, even though the range is low, because it, it's so good with the recovery time. Look at that, I love it. So I'm pretty excited about this weapon, honestly. Alright, and that is the last of the weapons that he received. I do want to test the, um, the new item though really quickly. So let's... I do have the new jump, so let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and test the jump's verticality. Uh, let's. I think we're gonna need a different mission to do this because it's. It says in the description. Oh no, sorry. There's another item. There's another item off the cover here at the end. Uh, let's see. So it says in the description that it is 200% vertical boost speed. So let's see if we can tell a difference with that. Let's take a mission with a building because that'll make it easier to to see how high we get to a building and how fast we get up there. And then we'll we'll change the items to an older one and see if it feels different. Okay, so here's a building right here. Let's go to a little taller one. Let's go to this one. Okay. So I go up to that window here, which is one, two, three, four, I think it was. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four windows. So I go up that high. And I don't, I don't think it's vertical distance. 
Let me try vertical distance as well. Because you don't really get much vertical distance with this, this item. That's how it feels on this one. Okay, now let's go ahead and retreat and take the old item and see how it feels. You can't take two of the same items because it'll cancel it out. The better one cancels out the new one from my previous testing at least. So let's get rid of the vertical one, which is this one, and take this one. So if, it's, if, you, if you have a tough time remembering which one's jumping and which one's dashing, just look at the symbol next to the colon on the top The top one. It looks like a like a line going straight up and then a, a angle line coming in, almost like an arrow. That's like that, that indicates it's pointing up, so that's how I remember that's a jump item, whereas this item over here, uh, where is it, 77, or 70, 77, yeah, where's, there it is. This one over here has a a line pointing to the right, like it's a dash, so next to the colon. It's like the last symbol before the colon, where the six, six is at, in front of that. Looks like a, it looks like an arrow pointing to the right. And this looks like an arrow pointing up, that's how I remember. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this, now that we forgot everything in the past, so we can't compare. Alright, let's go over to this building again. Yeah, it does feel a little slower going up in the air. It's the same height. It should be the same height. It's definitely close. Hmm. I almost will try it one more time. Not, not both of them, but just try the new one one more time. Because it felt like it was a little bit faster, but that's that's what it, that's what I'm assuming it was. It's just it, you go up in the air a little higher, faster, but you go the same height. And there's one more item I'll I'll show here at the end. Boy, that's close. Maybe it feels a little bit faster. I mean, it should be 50% faster, but. But anyway, that's not the important. The important thing is you're getting the eight jumps. But I think I think it go you go up a little faster. Now the last item is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take two heavy weapons for this to show this one. So this last item, um, what it does is it gives you thirty percent. From from my, what I can tell. It reduces 70% of the movement penalty for having a heavy weapon. It reduces 70% of the turning penalty you have from a heavy weapon. And it gives you 25% more walk speed. And it gives you 80% recoil reduction. So this is a good item if you want to just take one item to cover your heavy weapon um, item that you take. Like say you take these heavy cannons and you, and you still want to dash hop around. But you also want you want recoil reduction, and you want movement speed penalty reduced, and you want walking speed penalty reduced, all in one item. This is your item to go to for sure, because um, surely you can take the 100% recoil reduction separately, but you don't have the turning, um, you don't have the turning penalty taken off, or you can take the turning penalty, but you don't have the recoil reduction. You know what I mean? So it's it, this item gives it all to you in one. It's not the perfect stats, but it gives you good enough to where you're going to feel comfortable with heavy, two heavy weapons. So therefore, you can take on your second item, um, say you want, you know, dash hopping. So you can take two, two, the, mid, the level 103, which gives you four dashes, four hops. So you can have a fast setup on one setup. So we'll take a dash hop here setup on one setup here. And then we'll take on the other one, you know, the heavy weapon. And let's just take whatever. Okay. And also, if you wanted to take, and also, also let me show this here as well. You also can take a dash hop weapon. Say, for example, you take the Stampede, which is one of the most popular weapons to take uh, right here. There's also a penalty for the heavy weapon here on this thing. So by taking that item, you also receive a penalty. Uh, you also receive a uh, the movement penalty reduced from your Stampede as well. So that's pretty cool. So let me show this here really quickly. So first of all, This is the heavy, this is the, um, I don't have the item equipped. 
I'm almost sure of it because there's no penalty reduction. <laughs> Did I not change it? Oh, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I didn't change. Okay, I didn't select it. I was gonna say something didn't feel right. So I can. I have the four dashes, four hops, and then I have the new item 108. I was kind of concerned there for a second that I, um, that I made a mistake. Well, I already tested this item out, so I know it works, but it didn't feel right. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, see, it doesn't feel like you get much of a penalty reduction for the stampede. Although it should be something. But for the heavy can, this you actually can move very fast with this heavy cannon now. And then when you shoot with it, it's not bad recoil, as you can see here. So this is a very good item for if you want to use two heavy cannons. You're not going to get much walk speed, even though it says 25% more walk speed. You're, you're still walking super slow because of heavy items. But you can turn really fast, and you can shoot relatively easy because of recoil reduction. And then the Stampede supposedly re receiving some kind of benefit from the turning reduction. So let's, let's see how that feels without it. So that's how fast you can turn with it. And then I'll take the item off and I'll show you what the difference is with the Heavy Cannon without that item. As well as the Stampede without the item. We'll see how it feels. I know the Heavy Cannon makes a big difference, but um, as far as the, as far as the, um, Stampede, I'm not sure if we're going to feel the difference on that. Because I haven't tested that, honestly. I just figured it would make a difference. Because it's supposed to do a reduced penalty. But of course, that's not considered a heavy weapon, maybe. Actually, it does feel... It does feel slower. So yeah, I guess you do receive a penalty reduction for your Stampede as well. But this is how you normally move with this thing. So you can tell a huge difference. It's super slow and swaying. And, and the recoil is, is pretty bad kind of, you know, it's a lot harder to aim. It kicks you up pretty high, so it's definitely a nice item to have. And it will help you even with your other dash hopping items, or dash hopping weapons as well, because you can turn faster with that, so. So pretty cool. I would say his weapons are pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with the weapons overall. Um, as far as recapping, I'm very happy what they did with the Quake Harken, Quake Haken, something or other, whatever it's called. I'm really happy. I think it's a usable weapon now, and I think it's it could be better than the finest hammer in some situations if you don't need 90% damage reduction. You're going to get a lot more damage, a lot wider area, and um, I think it's it's almost twice the damage, actually, of than the finest hammer. So that's cool. I mean, not not this finest hammer. I guess this finest hammer is a little bit... I mean, it's not too much more damage, but but anyway. And then the finest hammer, It's I think it's a pretty safe weapon. It looks cool, but it's not that I can tell anything much different than just damage. Um, the Blast Hole Spear, pretty safe as well, it just looks cool, <laughs> but, you know, it's just a more powerful version of the Blast Hole. Um, but the bomb is super cool, or oh, the Gatling first. A Gatling is definitely a, a usable weapon. I think it's going to be one of the best machine gun uh, medium range weapons for fencer and longer range weapons for a dash hop setup, so that's cool. Finally a good Gatling you can use, um, in my opinion at least. And then the bomb is very cool. I'm very happy they made this. It's a very unique idea, and it reminds me of the, um, the previous game where he had one large shot, but it it didn't reload. At least I think it was him. Didn't he have one plasma shot as fencer that you couldn't reload, and then you could, that for that reason you never took it? Or maybe I'm thinking of Ranger. I don't know. It's been so long for 4.1. I haven't, I don't remember, but it reminds me of that. But you can reload it now, so that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with that weapon. And the Arm Hound is definitely a very usable weapon now, which is a very big improvement to the previous one. And of course, just having more dashes and hops is always cool. Um, that, that was just a given. I figured they were going to give him more, but I didn't expect 10 and 8. That's quite a bit. But I'm happy with that. And then this item's pretty pretty usable, I think, too, as well. It's a pretty good item to add, so... Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it overall. So, uh... I think that will be it. So, I'll probably be doing, uh... Wing Diver next. So, uh... Once again, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind. Ever. And also, please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to help the channel. It does make a big difference. Thank you.